All right, as promised, uh, I'm bringing you a video uh, with a further look into Fidelity. Uh, and one of the accounts that I really love and use to basically manage my life. So let's get right into it. Uh, so with Fidelity, I have uh, a lot of accounts and uh, a lot of money that is there as well as with Schwab. And for most of the uh, things that I've done so far, like the million dollar portfolio and whatnot, uh, I've shown that off using my Schwab account. But uh, this video is going to give me a chance to show off uh, some of the capabilities of Fidelity as well. Uh, you've already seen one of these accounts uh, when I did my monthly investing adventure, starting with uh, an opening amount of $250 and adding to that every month. Uh, I'll put a link below for this one. But um, that's not the purpose of, of this video. Uh, you can also ignore some of these planning accounts down here as well. Uh, they're for me to test just different allocations to see how they do over time. I can always do it on paper and track it that way, but it's just easier to just put money into it and see how it goes. Uh, we're going to ignore the retirement accounts, which I've blanked out for now, uh, as well as regular brokerage accounts uh, at the top here, and just focus on this section, which is uh, living expenses. So if you watch my videos on uh, other videos on budgeting or my run rate or whatever, um, I think I said that I spend about $7,000 a month after taxes. Um, that's, that's my average. You know, sometimes it's a lot more depending on what I'm doing and uh, if there are unexpected expenses coming up, uh, insurance payments or property tax or whatever the case may be. But uh, Aside from that, what I try to do is keep about nine months of expenses uh, slash emergency fund. And you see that I really don't manage an emergency fund in the classic sense of the word because at the asset level that I'm at, if I needed to spend 20 grand on a new AC system, I'm just going to spend it. You know, and if I don't have the cash available, I'll sell it out of some of my brokerage accounts. It's, it's not a problem. Um, but generally... I try to keep about, call it nine months, um, 63, 65 grand, thereabouts for just living expenses. Uh, sometimes that's lower, especially after the first of the month when I have some bills that are automatically being paid. Uh, so my mortgage, utilities, insurance, HOA dues, all that stuff comes out of the spending account. And then uh, direct deposits also go into uh, that account and gets withdrawn out. So the way that I divide up my living expenses is that I take that 63, 65 grand and I split it into two buckets. One I call savings. It's not really savings, it's more like investing. But uh, you know, we can go ahead and take a look at that one and look at the position. Um, and basically you can see that in the position, this is fully invested. Uh, right now it's down for the year but uh, it's fully invested. I'm using some leverage funds in this strategy. And if it goes down quite a bit, it doesn't bother me. Um, but this is where I just put funds I don't need immediately out of that nine months of expenses. I try not to touch my brokerage accounts for a living. That's you know for longer term. But this is where I can play around. If I have excess funds uh, above and beyond this, they all get shifted to uh, my brokerage accounts. So this one, you know, has a dollar and twenty eight cents in in cash, right? This money market fund, but the rest of it is is invested. Um, so that's that. And then I keep about ten to fifteen grand, depending on what's going on uh, in this spending account. So when we go in here, there are some investments. So I have some. Uh, equity funds, uh, I have some bond ETFs and whatnot, uh, but that's a small portion. The majority of this account is basically cash. Uh, Fidelity calls it a core account, but it's basically uh, an FDIC insured deposits uh, sweep that I get you know, some pretty healthy interest on given the current rate environment, but most of that is, is pure cash. Um, and with this account, I have a Visa debit card that uh, Fidelity gives me. And then I have a checkbook that goes with it. Some of my other brokerage accounts also has, you know, Fidelity Visa debit card. 
and then a uh, checkbook that goes with that as well. But today, I'm focusing on this, what they call a cash account, and all the features that goes with it, and why this may be the only account that you need. So the first thing is that with this cash account, it's deceiving because it's called a cash account, but you can buy any investments with it that you, that you please. So if you want to buy VTI and be in the total market for some of that money, you can. Um, it has bill pay, so I can go and pay my bills for my pool guy. Uh, you have direct deposits, like I said, so my paycheck goes in here. You have uh, things that could be withdrawn against it. So when I go to the activities and orders, uh, you'll see that I have uh, a mortgage payment to Loan Depot. I have my water bill being paid here. I have my HOA fees. And the beauty of this account and why this is so powerful and why you should consider it for your one and only account is that it's kind of like a brokerage account that you can buy investments in and a bank account slash checking account all in one and with no fees. So the way this works for me is that if I need money, I go to any ATM and this is global around the US, around the world. I use my Visa debit ATM card and uh, withdraw anything that I need and any fees that's associated with it, whether it's a foreign transaction fee or just your run of the mill, you know, $3 fee for using a Wells Fargo ATM gets reimbursed to me with this cash management account. And then any, anything that I'm spending whether it's from uh, the Visa debit, withdrawing cash, writing the check, uh, the bill pays, all of that is automatically deducted from this core account. In other words, I don't need to buy into this uh, cash sweep or money market or whatever I decide. It gets settled automatically against this and any excess cash is uh, fully invested. And then, of course, if I'm buying investments with it, uh, it also gets pulled from this account. So it's kind of a mashup with the two of them, uh, and it's great. So I do a lot of traveling personally and for work, and uh, this account is just uh, very handy. In the past, what I've done is I use my Schwab account in conjunction with Schwab High Yield Investor Checking Account, which I still have, uh, and I still have a little bit of funds in there, although I haven't touched that account in a couple of years. Uh, the Schwab account, that is the checking account, has exactly the same features as Fidelity. There's bill pay, you can do auto uh, direct deposits, you have checks you can write from, you have uh, you know, fees reimbursed in your ATM card, it's also a Visa debit card. The main difference with Schwab is that your brokerage account and your high yield investor checking account are two separate accounts. If you're using your checking account to live off of for everyday things, uh, you have to sell stocks transfer funds into that if you're short of funds and uh, move the funds out if you want to invest. The great thing about the Fidelity account is that it's all in one place. So really, if you don't need to separate out your spending or investing, you really can live with one account at Fidelity with zero fees uh, pretty much for the rest of your life. And you know, going forward, I may combine certain things and I'm still thinking about it. I don't know quite yet what I'm going to do, but uh, uh, I may just combine things and just keep my, my local credit union account for like purely cash deposits, right? Because with, with Fidelity, you can deposit checks using the, the phone app, take a picture of it just like any other account. Uh, so it's, it's really great. So I would highly recommend uh, that you consider opening a Fidelity Cash management, cash management account where you get all of those fees reimbursed for you. If you want the regular brokerage account, you can have that too. I have a brokerage account as well. The, the Visa debit, when you use it at a point of sale, is free. There's no charge for that. The difference with the brokerage account is that if you were going to withdraw from an ATM, uh, they won't reimburse the fees on the brokerage account. Uh, but it's convenient to have. But uh, really, all you need is, is this cash account because you can buy, buy investments with it as well. So in any case, I hope you found this uh, useful and uh, that uh, if you are considering you know, where to go, E-Trade, Schwab, Fidelity, some of the big guys like that, they're all great. But I, I really think that this one account uh, from Fidelity is, is really the way to go. 
Uh, and no, they're not paying me or sponsoring me or anything like that. I just really love the account. And uh, that's what I'm sharing with you guys. All right. Thanks. And I'll see you next time. Bye.